You use variables to set queries more flexibly with parameters. In BEX Query Designer, you set variables that will be filled with values when you execute the query. There are different variable types depending on the object for which the variable is a placeholder. SAP BX queries are the basis for all SAP Business Explorer and most SAP Business Objects premium reporting tools. Define new variables in the Query Designer Variable Editor. Settings are organized using these tabs. General, Replacement Path, Details, Default Values, Currencies and Units. Fields on each tab only appear when they are relevant to the context in which you are defining the variable. The figure shows the tabs on the Change Variables screen. The table presents an overview of processing types for different types of variables. You enter the name of the variable and choose the Info Provider Level settings using the General tab. Use the setting for text variables, formula variables and characteristic value variables with the Replacement Path Processing type. Replacement Path options vary according to the type of variable you are using. These variables are replaced by a value from a corresponding characteristic or from a different variable. The value for a formula variable must be a number. The value for a text variable must be text. The following settings are available on the Details tab for all variables except for variables with the Replacement Path Processing type. When you define a variable, you enter one or more default values. The default values appear on the variable screen when you execute the query. You select from these dimensions when creating formula variables. When selecting characteristic values in the query definition, you can select variables instead of fixed values. Variables act as placeholders and are filled with values when you execute the query. You can use variables to select single values and value ranges. Text variables represent a text. You can use text variables in query descriptions calculated key figures and structural components.
Hierarchy variables represent hierarchies and you can use them wherever hierarchies can be selected. Hierarchy node variables represent a node in a hierarchy. As an alternative to hierarchy nodes, use hierarchy node variables as fixed values to restrict a characteristic. If you use a hierarchy node variable, you can make selections by hierarchy node in a query. Formula variables represent numerical values. You can use formula variables in formulas. SAP BI content or business content variables are variables that are delivered by SAP in BI content releases. Before you can use these variables, they must be activated. Activating business content is a task that must be done by SAP BW administrators or architects in the SAP BW data warehousing workbench. Content variables may be of different types. For example, there are simple characteristic value variables that allow a manual entry for the characteristic material, that is, zero material. You use variable offsets to analyze key figures that have a fixed time relationship to each other. For example, to compare the sales volume from the current time period with the sales volume of the same time period in the previous year. You can use the same variable several times to restrict key figures and determine a difference from the input value. Characteristic value variables with the replacement path processing type are replaced by a query result. You can transfer values between queries with this type of variable by inserting the query result as the variable in a different query. The variable will run as a pre-query when you execute the query. For example, insert the result of the query, top 5 products into another query, sales volume, calendar year, slash month, variably. Execute the query sales volume calendar year slash month to determine how the sales volume of the top 5 products has developed on a month-by-month -month basis. 
Note that the pre-query is executed each time the query is executed. Running the pre-query may contribute to slow performance. If you do not need to execute the pre-query every time you run the query, use a variable that represents a pre-calculated value set so that the variable values are stored over time.